Okay, and one more. Here we go. Bro, on my mama nem. Mama nem. Mama nem. It's one word, kind of. Mama nem. Mama nem? Yeah, like on oh, mama nem. On my mama nem. If LSU, that's close enough. If LSU wins this game, Greeny will have to call them people for me on Wednesday. Yeah. Me and you know Fox who the people is? Me the Popo. <laughs> Woo! Me and Foxworth going to take the show over. Woo! Until we shut the whole thing down. Woo! This threat. Hey, you know, Greedy, you know what it meant. I was sitting there and I was waiting. I said, ooh, I can't get too excited yet. I got to hold up. And then I saw Clyde. Move, don't move. Then I saw Jamar. Another. Then I saw Joe. In another. Then I saw Justin. In and we kept doing it. We oh, kept it going. Stop. You thought it was just going to be about the purple blazer ooh. with the hood. No, but no, I came no. back. Tiger. I came Inside. back with the Tigers, all Greedy. Over the Tigers Raw. all over the place. Raw. Raw. All in your face. We told him. In you can face. do what you want. I you can think it's the Tigers. Say oh, what you want they're to do. 78 and matter. four. It you can't matter. win. Nick Ryan Saban Bennett. does I don't this. Care. Guess we what, Greeny? You were wrong. You go got all Louisiana. your facts from Himbo, California. and he was wrong. You were can't wrong. Himbo was wrong. Stephen A. was wrong. And I don't your care that Stephen A. is richer than all us. It don't we matter. still won. I take his money. <laughs> take the money. Go in there with a duffel bag and a ski mask and take it. Put the money in the bag. All of it. What the hell are you doing? Chill out. <laughs> I'm winning. That's what we're doing. That's right. That's Don't right. get nervous. Let's explain. Throw it back to Maria. <laughs> Throw it. Maria. Throw it. What's Throw that? it now. <laughs> Done. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Oh, that, that's us. We were just sipping our tea over here. We were just minding our own business over here, keeping it real calm. Just so open I'll your jacket. You I asked Coach O, and I'll ask it to you. We're about to sit here and explain. Alabama could very easily get back into this thing. I, in fact, I'd say it is more likely than not yeah. that Alabama winds up one of the Final Four. Do you want that game again? Heck no. Nah. Listen, I'm a fan, but I ain't stupid. Right? <laughs> we don't want to play them again. We've seen this before. 2012, it's the game of the century. We go there and win, and I'm screaming, please put Oklahoma State in. They deserve it. I knew Oklahoma State didn't deserve it. I knew they weren't the second best team, but I knew we could beat them, and I didn't want to see Alabama again. And you said they have the fifth invite to a four uh, team party. Right. That's not what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what this is? This is when you're a, a diamond member or a platinum member mm -hmm. and they know you're supposed to be in first class but you don't have the seat and they walk over to you and say, Mr. Clark, you'll be fine. Somebody didn't check in for first class. <laughs> They're just waiting to put them in because they know do that. Do they say that want. to you? Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> it's not like a personal so experience. Right, that's what it sounded yeah. like. But, but seriously, explain how that happened. How is it that that happens? How does, what is Alabama and the committee waiting for to get them in? Okay, for Alabama, obviously they have to sit around and wait for a loss and it would have to be to, from Georgia. So I'm telling all the Alabama fans, you better be an Auburn fan this week because you're hoping that Georgia falls. But I think that if the Bulldogs were to beat LSU in an SEC championship game, mm -hmm. you would be hard pressed to say, all right, mm -hmm. Tide, you still belong in, even yeah. though you only had one loss against LSU and you're not a conference champion. I, I think that L may come a little sooner than everyone thinks. Mm -hmm. Georgia has to play yeah. Auburn this weekend and Georgia had a lot of injuries on the offensive line that we could go against Missouri. And you look at Auburn's defensive line, guys like Marlon Davidson, five and a half sacks in the season. And then you also have Derrick Brown, four sacks. Those guys are number three in the SEC against the rush. And don't forget, Jake Fromm also left, lost his main target, Lawrence Cager. He went out with a shoulder injury. I think Auburn stands a chance, a really big chance of beating Georgia. The only thing that may help Georgia is because they have an outstanding defense. Sure. Tops in the conference, mm -hmm. and they're going up against a freshman quarterback in Bo Nix. Hey, Paul, can, can I change up? To, because as sure. you guys were talking, something new just jumped into my head. Things happen sometimes that are not expected. Ohio State has very losable games coming up on their schedule. Clemson, it would not seem to, but they could not. fall by the wayside. Right. If Ohio State and or Clemson were to fall by the wayside, there's a path for three SEC teams here to at least Ooh. have an argument. There's a legitimate wow. path. For the mm. argument to be, I don't know if they would do it, but there is a Heads exploding. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. Right now. People go crazy. Speak, or is yeah. there or is yeah. there not? If, let's just say, I'm, I'm just living in a world right now where, where Ohio State beats Minnesota but loses to Penn State yeah. and or Michigan, and all of a sudden you're looking at LSU, Georgia, and Alabama with legitimate cases to be among the four best Yeah, teams. all of a sudden all these starch shirt guys who say we don't need to expand the playoff, they're in the room the next yeah. day saying, <laughs> yeah. let's let eight <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's conceivable. I, I, I don't think they'll do it because these guys can look at the, the landscape of the country mm -hmm. and go, we really don't need that. Um, but I think you said something about Michigan. Michigan started the season one of the favorites, and 
We all forgot about them. Mm -hmm. um, but, but they really are in a really strong position here. I mean, that game is Ann Arbor at Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. Ohio State has been flawless. So there are a couple of things going on. And, and one more thing, Green. Yeah. The Pac-12. Uh, yeah. Yep. Another person at this panel wrote them off for dead. <laughs> you. <laughs> I, I, I need to go into the funeral business as many people as I declare dead on uh -huh. this show. But, 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 but they have a, they have a, they have a Oregon shot. Oregon is the team that I think has a legitimate chance because their one loss is to Auburn. And if we're going to have a whole conversation about the SEC one loss teams getting in, and that's their one Auburn's loss. Auburn's everywhere. Auburn's the yeah. big player. They are. This, They're the, the key biggest to all player. of yep. There's so many things to be said about Oregon. Oregon lost one game by one play to Auburn in August. Yeah. Right. And yep. their athletic director is the chair of right. the committee Correct. that Oregon's yeah. is. So there's a lot to be said about that. And there's one more thing I need to mention. All right, I have this sheet. The sheet. The sheet Everyone knows back. I love the sheet. Yeah. Man, I'm it so has tired all this sheet. information. What does the sheet say? I just want to show you the top four teams in America right now by strength of record. Okay? Oh this goodness. is the teams that have accomplished the most mm -hmm. so far this year. Mm -hmm. Look who's third and fourth. I know. Baylor is third. And as Maria and Desmond well know, because they'll be there this weekend, Baylor's playing Oklahoma this weekend, so that's going up. Yes, Baylor yeah. cannot be left out that, of this conversation. That would be a ratings bonanza, wouldn't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But that can't be the way they decide this stuff, right? If Baylor yeah. wins out, they can't leave them out. Don't forget, they have they have Oklahoma and they have Texas, yep. too. So, yeah, yeah they would have a you very, can't leave strict, Baylor out. Baylor very out strong strict, strict of schedule. But, but, mm -hmm. yeah. but they're going to wait all the way to the end to see if Baylor wins out mm -hmm. before they, have they put to. them in. Yeah. Listen, it is the best thing about the sport. It leaves you endless area for conversation. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.